What's up, Pigeon family? It's your boy PSG Inter, and today we'll be discussing the preview for Paris Saint Germain contre Maccabi Haifa. Game 5 of this group stage, only two games left for Paris Saint Germain until the group stages are done. This game will, of course, be played the Tuesday, 25th of October 2022, 21 pm. That's Central European time for everyone at the Parc. Second consecutive home game for Paris Saint-Germain and it, it, it suffice to tie especially with uh, Maccabi winning their last game 2-0 against Juventus showing that they can do it against the biggest sides but I would say that Maccabi's form it's good but it's at their home ground. Because away, they lost Juventus, they lost to Benfica, and now they're coming away to Paris Saint-Germain, the strongest side in this group. And especially this Paris Saint-Germain side, coming off two consecutive draws here in the Champions League, Paris Saint-Germain will be looking to get something out. Because the two performances against Benfica, it wasn't bad, but we expected much better. We expected at least to win one of the games, especially the home game, even though we were missing Messi. But if you look at the table here, we can see that Paris Saint-Germain sit on top, but only with n pretty much nothing. I think, uh, yeah, I think us and Benfica were pretty much the same because Champions League, they first look head to head. And then after that, goal difference, but we have the same goal difference. And after that, I think it's goal conceded. So maybe Benfica should actually be first. But as I said, it's it's identical for Paris Saint-Germain and Benfica. Same head-to-head, -head, same points and same goal difference. So Paris Saint-Germain need to win the bo both of their remaining two games and with a go big goal difference to confirm themselves as first spot. As we know, Benfica will be going uh, playing against Juventus at home this time and they won away. So who knows, they probably might win yet again against Juventus because Juventus, if they want to make it out of this group uh, to the knockout stages, they will have to win both of their games and hope that Benfica uh, yeah, loses to Maccabi uh, away. But I can definitely see Benfica dropping some points to Maccabi away. As I said, that's where Maccabi are as their strongest point. But it's a tough group. And missing players uh, for uh, Paris Saint-Germain. It will be Nuno Mendes. Uh, just came back. But... He may be in the squad. Kimpembe will be back in the squad. Ramos back from his suspension. Neymar back as well. But Verratti will be missing this game due to a suspension of accumulation of yellow cards in the Champions League. Danilo still out, of course, as we all know. And yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, missing players. Coming into managers, uh, Christophe Galtier, as I said, he knows that it was disappointing to draw both games against Benfica, both home and away, and he knows that we need something out of this game. We need some points, some crucial points to secure our place in the first uh, place in this group stage, because it would be kind of disappointing to not come first in this group. I'm not, I'm not putting any disrespect to the other teams, but I'm totally respecting Paris Saint-Germain, and we should definitely, definitely Definitely make it out of this group as first place. And as I said, Galtier knows the expectations of this club and has high expectations himself, himself on Paris Saint-Germain. Whilst uh, on the other hand, Barak Bachar, he will look at this game and say, you know what? We can actually get a Europe, Europa League spot. We can actually do that. So let's just go all out. Let's try to do our best in this game. I don't know if they care about conceding goals or something because, I mean, going to Pantheon Prince, you usually concede goals. I mean, we have scored in, what, 45 consecutive games at the Parc in the group stage, I think. So, not, not, not even at the Parc, just consecutive games. So, he knows that he will be conceding goals. But the thing is, can they score against Paris Saint-Germain? And they played fearless against us in, in their home ground, getting the, the, the first goal, leading 1-0 in the first half. So, I mean, the, the mentality is there, the... The, the fearlessness is there, but this is a body Saint-Germain, this is a beast. And Maccabi saw that because we just turned up 70% in the second half and we won the game 3-1 pretty easy. Showing that body Saint-Germain, even if you play at your best, it's not a challenge for us. But, but I still believe that Maccabi will put everything into this. As I said, Juventus may probably lose to Benfica away. If they get something away from this game, going into the last game against Benfica at home, they might get their Europa League's place with 
which would mean a lot for them coming ahead of Juventus in this group. This is the predicted lineup for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma in goal, Hakimi and Bernat on the wing, Ramos Marquinhos. You maybe, maybe see Mukiele parting up with Marquinhos, but I think it's uh, Ramos coming back from his suspension. Plus, uh, Mikel, it's nice preferred position. Uh, in midfield, we will have Fabian Ruiz, who will take over Marco Verratti's suspended role as that central number six, dropping deep and winning the ball and uh, progressing the ball forwardly, with Vitinha playing as the left center mid, and then Renato Sanchez as the right center midfielder. But you may see Carlos Soler start instead of Renato Sanchez because... Yeah, that's what some reports are saying. And up top, I mean, there's no question about it. It's going to be Eminem. Neymar is back. Neymar Jr., Kylian Mbappe, and Lionel Messi, of course. Mbappe and Messi shined in the weekday, uh, contributing to all three goals. Beautiful from the duo, magician duo. But as I said, the ones to watch for this game will be Eminem because we need to stat pad in this game. We need to score goals. We need to secure that first place. And who scores goals for Paris Saint-Germain? It's our trio. It's Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. And all eyes will be on them to just stat pad in this game, destroy Maccabi, score as many goals as possible, and break as many goals as record goals as possible. As we all know, Lionel Messi is just coming closer to both uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's record, which is goals and assists in the Champions League. And Mbappe just keeps on breaking records and Neymar Jr. is just Neymar. That's who he is. Taking a look at Maccabi's starting 11, it, they have switched from a 5 at the back to a 4 at the back recently playing that against Juventus in and their recent league games. They have Cohen in goal, Sundgren, Bati Busunka, Goldberg and Kornud in the back, Lavi and Ali Mohamed in the midfield, Adzili as their number 10, Sherry, David and Piero up top. And as I said, we have faced them once and it's Sherry a bit technical, but I mean, listen, we have faced them once. It wasn't that hard. It was they played at 100%. We played pretty much at 50, and we still went away with the win and creating countless of chances. And this is a team that we should easily beat. This is a team that we easily should humiliate because they're nowhere close quality-wise, like like Paris Saint Germain. I mean, them in league and would suffer. They would probably get re be relegated in, in Ligue 1. All respect to Maccabi, but ju that just shows the quality difference between the two sides. But the ones to watch from the Maccabi game, uh, it's Azili. Scored the brace against Juventus, giving them that win, and he will be high on confidence to do something in this game. Of course, he was the player that asked for Messi and Neymar jerseys when the draw was drawn, and yeah, he will be high on confidence for this game and will try to do his best. But my prediction for this game, even though Maccabi will try their best, I think Paris Saint-Germain will be victorious 4-0. We are at home, we, we have our starting attack, we pretty much have our best starting eleven. And I believe Paris Saint-Germain will outpower and outmuscle this Maccabi side. 4 0 to Paris Saint-Germain. Even some PSG fans would disagree and think we should score even more. But that's what I'm expecting. And that's what I'm predicting. 4 0 to Paris Saint-Germain. A brace yet again from Kylian Mbappe. Messi back on the Champions League score sheet. And Neymar Jr. bagging a goal as well. Comment down below what's your predictions for this game. Uh, if it's higher or if it's lower, we'll have to see. Make sure to like this video for more Paris Saint-Germain previews. Make sure to subscribe to the PSU and YouTube channel for amazing content. And as usual, allez, allez, allez Paris.